Welcome, I'm Stephanie Harris-Shack Spindle Company. I'm going to talk to you today about one of my favorite products, the End Delivery Shuttle. It comes in two different sizes, the 12 and the 15 inch, and it will give you perfect salvages every time. It does this by a tensioning device inside the shuttle. And today we're going to talk a little bit about making adjustments to that tension and how to load a pern. Putting the pern into the shuttle is pretty straightforward. You're going to take the bar in the middle and you're going to place the end of the pern onto that bar firmly. Push the pern down so that it's level inside of the shuttle. And then we're going to put the yarn right in between these little tension devices slide it down into that hole, work it back and forth. And then it's very important, you'll see a, a slanted pin and you want your yarn to go up and over the pin. There are many adjustments that you can make to your end delivery shuttle, but the most common one is going to be right here, which adjusts the tension spring inside. So you can see here, it's going to control how much force is pushed together or pushed apart. So in order to loosen the tension, you would stick your Allen wrench in until you feel it find its spot. And then you would gently and with a very small turn, I would say maybe an eighth of a turn, unwind and then try to pull your yarn out and see the difference in the tension. The same works in reverse. If you're finding that the salvages feel a little loose to you and you want it to have a little bit more tension, we're gonna stick that same Allen wrench right back into that top hole and we're going to turn it back to the right. So always try small increments and then test the tension. Another very common adjustment that we're going to make is for the level of the pern. You want the tip of the pern to be right in the center between the top and the bottom of your shuttle. If you feel like you're getting a little bit of drag off the yarn on the pern, it might be because the pern is sitting a little too low on the inside of the shuttle. The adjustment for that is on the bottom of the shuttle. So I like to place the pern where I want it, lined up, and on the back, you have another slot for your very small Allen wrench, and you will tighten it to the right, and that is going to tighten up the bar that the pern sits on. If your pern is not lined up so that it's, the yarn is evenly coming off straight into the tensioning device, you're going to have kind of a lub-dub, lub-dub, and it will create an odd amount of tension. So you really want to make sure when you check it that your yarn is just coming off very smoothly. And that's one of the reasons why winding the pern correctly is so important. Now that we have the pern on our end delivery shuttle and it's adjusted, we are going to start weaving. And we're going to assess whether we like the tension that we have on the shuttle by our salvages. So I'm just going to start out with plain weave. And I'm just gonna tuck that little end in over here.
Now you can see what I've just woven with the end delivery shuttle compared to what I wove earlier with the boat shuttle. So definitely having that consistent tension that the end delivery shuttle allows really is going to straighten up and give you those even salvages that you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching our video on one of my favorite products, the end delivery shuttle. Hopefully you too will have very even salvages. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest information on products and tips and tricks. Our YouTube channel is a handy resource to have around.